What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome to part 2 of my My Team Career Mode. If you missed part 1, it was uploaded a couple of weeks ago now in Australia and then we just went through setting up the team Australia as well. But before we get into qualifying, I have put the sponsors on the car. If you missed the first episode, we went for Loop and then we got our second sponsor after Australia which is one that I definitely can pronounce to qualify we go and this is towards the end of our first run and you'll see here that if you look at the engine mode I wasn't in max I was in um, rich but the thing that annoyed the most it felt like a decent lap and then Reichlin just decided to overtake us at the final corner which course it's a great, oh it's Giovinazzi rather. So we went again, carrying on, still in rich because I'm the smartest person ever, and skipping on to the end of key one now, into the final corner. This time I realised that I was in rich and turned it up to max, and we have found a second nearly, and that puts us not much further up, only P21. So we're out of key one. Those also out of key one are Magnussen, Kvyat, Latifi, Russell, and our teammate Guan Yu Joe. So let's get into the race, shall we? We're here again then at a circuit famous for its stunning visuals and thrilling battles for glory. Who will take the spotlight in the Bahrain Grand Prix today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of Turn 1. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole. And starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Alexander Albon, and Verstappen, Giovinazzi, Norris, Raikkonen and Sergio Perez, Stroll, Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo and Grosjean, Gasly, Kvyat, Kevin Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi, Sainz, Russell, Joe and Brown. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So a couple of penalties, it doesn't affect us, we're still last. Um, strategy wise, we're going to be doing the one stop, starting on the mediums and going to the hards. There's not really any point doing the two stop because we haven't really got the pace to do anything with it. But before we get into the race, if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get into the race. There's two, three, four, five lights. And they're out and we're underway in Bahrain. It's the two Ferraris that are going to have the two Mercedes pressure on down into turn one. We're going to have to need a big, big start here we're going to go right to the inside of the track we've got past the Williams there we're going to do a massive massive dive bomb we got up into P10 there so we've literally jumped 11 cars make that 13 I believe if I can do maths from P22 to P9 in the space of four corners but it, we're going to lose one to Kimi Raikkonen and he does get us back because we really just didn't have the downforce to do anything and try to fight him back. 
So that's a good start. I don't think we're really going to be able to good start by the Williams you'll see there in the background. If you're wondering why the Williams is still in the rocket, this um I recorded this which for the day after it came out, so that picture wasn't out yet, but I think by Vietnam the next round it should be on the car. But skipping on and we have the racing points of Sergio Paris, I believe it is all over the back of us. And it's going to be hard to keep that pink Mercedes behind and try it ERS minds everything. But that racing point is still going to breeze past us like we're not even there. Try to stick it round the outside, we actually make contact there with the back of Sergio Perez. And we slip out of the points. And now it's just kind of damage limitation. I know we're only on lap 2, this is a long way to go. So if we can just hold on, maybe if there's um, DNFs in front of us, then maybe we can hang on. We're just going to have to get our road boys out. We've gone wide there, and Lance Stroll's hit us, and Lance Stroll is round. He spun himself there. I had nothing to do with that in my defence. Yes, I went wide, but there was so much space, you'll see here. I went wide and he just understeers into me that I am no you, let me know what you think in the comments below but to, you'll see here that shot gets a good run I go wide there's still so much space to the right of him and he just tries to push me off and then he hits me that's when he first the rear steps out and then he tries to correct hits my rear tire again and then that's what eventually sends him round and now quite a way down down at the back in last place this is a slow-mo of what happens you can see here all the space on the right hand side of the track and he's just taken the racing line and just understeers into me I think although I went wide I think there was, there was so much space there and I think Stroll is at fault I mean it's not it didn't affect my race, it was his own fault and he got punished because of it. I don't think you can really say from my point of view that that is my fault, but skip it on. And the Williams has fallen back and now we're going under pressure from Ryman Grosjean. He's trying to get round our outside, we force him out. Daniel Ricciardo now might be poised to try and get the Haas. And you can see how much that Williams has fallen back in the background there briefly. And there goes Daniel Ricciardo. Trying to go round the outside, I, whilst we look at myself, but it looks like Roman Grosjean has held on to that position, and there goes Grosjean, just breezes past us. And we're just a sitting duck, Ricardo, on the outside of us again now, gets that job done, and moves us down into P13. But we've got to run on Ricardo, we could potentially get him back here, and I'm definitely going to think about it, but... My senses come, I've, I've found myself this year on um, the F1 game being a bit more kind of sensible in a way if you run just watching the channel uh, with F1 2019 I kind of went for probably moves you should have really been going for I feel like looking at the footage back I probably would have gone for that but you've got to look at the bigger picture Ricardo was going to get us anyway and we're now battling the Alpha Tauri who on the R&D charts aren't too far up the road from us so I was attempted to fight um, Kvyat a little bit more and we have fought, we have fought Kvyat and he's lost out to us in a knock on that into the tricky turn 10 and we go wide and we're just going to let Esteban knock on through you'll see him there he is past us and you'll see there that there's been a spin there's yellow flags and that is because the safety car is out and this is why Valtteri Bottas coming through the S section clips the very lethal curb and he spins, he loses the back end, clips the barrier, comes back onto the track and Max Verstappen just plain drives into the side of him, wipes Valtteri Bottas out. He's only, he's gone away there with only a tiny bit of front wing damage. But Max Verstappen 
is wow that is a huge crash and I'm loving seeing these AI mistakes there it is big crash and you can see the um, debris on the track the safety car is out and I didn't I choose I chose not to pit just because of the fact it wouldn't have made sense and we probably would have had to do the two stop if we pitted and if if those doing the two stop at the front haven't pitted then we can still be in a fight so it made sense to stay out in my opinion you see everyone here we're actually sitting because the Mercedes pitted and so did the Red Bulls we're actually sitting in a very nice P4 so if they could red flag the race right now I'd love that and call it there I'd love that obviously that would give us 12 points but we've still got a lot of laps left if that was a thing I'd definitely be up for that but it's Charles Leclerc who's going to get the race underway from his teammate then it is Daniel Ricciardo, then it's us and then I believe it is Daniel Kvyat behind us as well followed by his teammate Pierre Gasly so we're just going to sit on the back of the Ricardo, the number three car in third place and we've got a great run out of the final corner on Daniel Ricciardo with side by side of Ricciardo heading down in towards turn one but there's bigger battles we couldn't quite get him but we're gonna go for it and look at Sebastian Vettel he's gone wide as well look at that the side by side and Daniel Ricciardo is up into P2 in this race we've lost out though we couldn't gain anything we've lost out to Kvyat and now we might even lose out to Pierre Gasly but we're gonna send it again on Daniel Kvyat nearly lost the back end but they get away and I will left the fin and pick Gasly will drop down into P5 Ricardo's still second and here comes Pierre Gasly down our inside into the final corner we defend him but he gets a great exit and he now has overtook us and this is kind of just going to be we do try to fight back with his Honda engine the Honda engine and it's free wide you would have seen there that is when you Joe I think it is trying to get involved we've gone wide they're free, they've gone very, very tricky behind them. We have stayed in front. I'm trying to see who... It's, it's all chaos. I'm trying to see what's occurring here. As we try to go again on Kvyat as they've been battling. And they've fallen back into us. We're still just about ahead of Pierre Gasly there. Ricardo's still second, but he has got him. And we've completely squeezed... Pierre Gasly there off the track, that was a bit aggressive I think he probably deserved a little bit more space than that in this race and at that precise moment in time but it's not going to be long, you can see um, the Mercedes there of Hamilton in the background Pierre Gasly looks to have got us this time we're going to use the overtake button which is very OP round here they're pretty much past me but with the overtake button they can get back alongside and we are free wide here, Hamilton on the inside Gasly in the middle, I'm pretty sure it is, it might be Kvyat and we get the job done on both of them, so does Hamilton but now does Hamilton get a run on us, it definitely is, it's going to be very very hard to get keep that Mercedes behind us and there really isn't any point fighting him but he gets a very poor exit off of turn 4 and that allows us to stay in front but further around the lap near to where we put a wheel on the gravel and Lewis Hamilton is just going to breeze past us even with our overtake button he's still level with us and into the final corner he is going to get the job done I think but we get the better exit on the outside we are giving Hamilton a run for his money here we definitely are not backing down as they're side by side we're actually four wide here what to me this two by two we've lost out to all three of them that's the McLaren there and now we've lost out to a Red Bull as well of Alexander Albon you can see Kvyat up there is all kicking off we've got back past the Alpha Tauri and we're side by side with Hamilton no that's Guan Yu Joe I'm an idiot there 
the Kwan Nijo is behind us, that definitely is, yes, I'm getting so confused, I can't keep up with the action. But here comes Pierre Gasly, he's going to re-overtake us here, and now I wouldn't be surprised if you see Alexander Albon overtake us as well, into turn 1, and the Red Bull of Albon, we do defend to the outside, isn't quite enough because the Red Bull much quicker they do defend though to the inside to be fair Albon definitely struggling to get past it is in a brown GP sandwich there it goes Big Gasly and here comes Albon past us we do nearly defend again round the outside we do that that's very nice we, we literally clinging on by a thread here in this race, round the outside. So, as we get into turn four, we've defended Albon. Here he comes again, though. He's got a run here up our inside, but he go wide to give him space. He's still there on the outside. Is Albon and to the inside? He looks like got the job done here. Round the outside, we do try to defend him. We have a big tank slapper of oversteer there. And Alexander Albon gets us round the outside, but he goes wide and just allows us back through but he's going to have the exit but he isn't in fact we had the overtake button on so we did actually re-overtake him <laughs> Albon really giving a run for its money and now Guan Yu Zhou he's down his inside and he's going to have to defend him round the outside gets the job done and just about stays in front of our teammate in this race We have another look at the run Albon got there and he is past us in the race and now we've got Guan Yu Joy behind us and he pulls out to our inside there's Giovinazzi on our outside and look at the racing point with three wide I'm gonna back out of that just what happens they all three of them lock up we try to go to the outside but we try to go around the outside Guan Yu Joy we get forced off the track and we have to give those places back good to Guan Yu Joe, and we lose out to Antonio Giovinazzi but we go back down the inside of our teammate he holds the line round the outside and we're going to have to give it while we try to go down the inside but there is not a gap there we're going to try it again into turn 10 and look at George Russell he's gone boy he's off the track you'll see him in the background there and I don't know what's happened to the Williams, he's just gone wide. I'll have another look at that though. Yet again, this time we we're on the inside, there really wasn't space. And I don't know what he's doing here, he could quite clearly drive forward and he's just sitting there. But look, this is what happens. He, he was approaching so quickly, he just had to get out of it to avoid contact with us. So I guess you could kind of say that he had to do that, but coming back onto the track, he really just had to put his foot down. And onto lap 13, we are going to pit in this race, do our one and only stop onto the hard tyres, and then we'll just see what kind of pace we have on them. The pace from Australia wasn't great on the hard, so hopefully it's a bit better here at Bahrain, slightly hotter conditions, it's days at night so it's fun of a musty kind of heat but we come out just behind Ricardo who if you remember was third earlier on in this race so he has dropped like a stone as well and we'll just see if we can keep up with Ricardo I don't think we can, very unlikely and we haven't kept up with Ricardo there's people busy in front of us and now we're battling Raymond Grosjean. You can see our teammate just at the road there. We lose out to the Frenchman again. Of course, we were battling him earlier on in the Grand Prix. Grosjean's gone past. Vettel has got past us. And now there goes Lance Stroll past us as well. We've got Magnussen behind us. We're going to have a think about getting back past Stroll. But as I was saying earlier in the race, that racing point is way too quick. We are going to have a go though. We're going to go to his outside, try and send it round the outside.
but Stroll, he's going to force us out, but he gets a really bad exit. We've got the overtake button on, and we do retake that position. It's literally fighting for the wooden spoon. We're down in P18, but Magnus is going to make that P19. And I do try and get back past Magnus and actually got Stroll. Um, which is good on his, on his part. Now we're just hunting down Kevin Magnussen, but Lance Stroll is going to re overtake us here and maybe even have a pop at it. Brave enough on, brave enough on the brakes is not, he locks up going into turn one. And we are down into P20, so this strategy it looked promising after that first, after the safety car, but it's very, very quickly gone to part and we're already down at the back. And something that I notice is out of the race goes Estevan Ocon and there is a safety car. Sorry that's um, Roman Grosjean. Ocon did retire as well in this race, that was earlier on. And with just a handful of laps left, this is what happened to Grosjean. Big engine failure, so that promotes us up a position. Not like it's really going to matter anyway, it's not like it's points. But a very late safety car. Bunches of, bunches of them back up and definitely going to make these final laps very interesting even if we're literally fighting for the wooden spoon we were just about the, my pace before the safety car it wasn't great I was I was just about staying in touch with Magnussen I just didn't have the pace to get anywhere near him to make a move I was always in that kind of area where you, you just sit there you can't really do anything so the safety car goes in we're gonna have two laps of racing here and can we get Kevin Magnussen does here really is a big thing but as we skip on Lewis Hamilton is going to win the Bahrain Grand Prix Lando Norris second Albon third it looked like it was Kvyat fourth everyone else flooding through and we are gonna come home for just not the best results. Base over, take care of the car on the way in. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So it's two new podiums sitters, Lando Norris of course got that podium in real life a couple of weeks ago and Alexander Albon, Hamilton too far up the road to deny him this time. But look at that, the, that first safety car for Stappen, not even getting a point. Neither is Bottas down there in P13. We're, we finished in P18, just only ahead of Russell Stroll. We do get beat by our teammate, he finished in P15, hats off to him. Into the championship, and it's, it's not looking great up front. Hamilton leads by four points over Albon, who leads from Leclerc and then Lando Norris. And down at the back, we are bottom in the championship standings. Go on you, Joe doing well uh, is ahead of quite a lot of the field that haven't scored we are ahead of Williams um, in the standings but obviously um, we haven't scored Renault still yet to score as well so let's go and talk to our best mate Claire on that result the fans really seem to enjoy that you made it look easy so Let's just ignore that. Um, 
Claire honestly always asking the the toughest questions and that race was anything but if you if you put that race in reverse and we were gaining all those positions then yes maybe but now nah, she just takes the mick don't she um we're only going to gain money no damage fees which is good and now we're going to go into the new um where you have to select things for your team to do your different um, departments I'm going to be doing this at the end of every episode and then let them play out but then for the next episode in Vietnam we'll go straight into qualifying so this will all be done in the background but you'll see it at the end of the videos we're going to do some upgrades so we're going to have three upgrades two on the chassis side one on the aero I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you do and if you did and you are new to the channel as well you want to see more i will see you though soon when we have our first new track of the season in vietnam